All right, thanks so much, Chad. Well, the Lafayette Theater has one more night under its current owner. Beginning tomorrow, the city will take control of the 82 year old building. But before that happens, News 18's Trevor Peters tells us what happened there tonight. I'm going to miss the place, you know. I mean, I had a lot of fun here. Perez Productions has held the lease in the Lafayette Theater for about five years. Tuesday night will be their final show. It's the end of an era, you know. As far as like, you know, Perez Productions doing their last show here at the Lafayette Theater. Um, you know, not knowing what's coming forward. On April 23rd, the city bought the venue for $290,000. The property appraised in the $500 to $600,000 range. Perez wants the best for the theater, but is concerned about what could become a lack of nightlife options. I think it's frivolous that you have two nonprofit venues within a minute of each other. The city will own both the Lafayette Theater and the Long Center. John Huey will oversee both. So we're going to do uh, lots of cleaning. Uh, there's going to be some fresh paint. And then long term, throughout 2020, we'll take assessment and see what type of um, construction work needs to take place. My personal opinion, you know, which is shared by, by many, is that, you know, um, the changes that are coming here, you know, it, it, you know, if it was not broke, don't fix it. Perez has one week to move out, then the city will start planning for its first show. The private ownership has done an admirable job of activating a space. Everybody wants a thriving downtown and having two theaters that are lit up, inviting people to come out. Uh, that is really progress and that's visionary, really. Perez has a final message for his supporters. I just want to say thank you for all your support and, you know, have a happy new year. Trevor Peters, News 18. Well, the city's first performance is set for January 26th, and it will be called Big Bubble Bonanza and will be a combination of a magic show and a science experiment.